My northern brothers living in Anambra State speak a just process with P2B. Thank you. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. As the race for presidency continues to get a steam and the Nigerian political scene ahead of the 2023 general elections, a viral video currently making waves on social media shows some northerners living in Anambra State speaking on their experiences with the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Gregory B. Reacting to the video, popular Nigerian politician, member of the B-Data presidential campaign council, Yenosa Tanko, said, testimony of my northern brothers living in Anambra State, speak on the experience with Peter B. during his tenure as governor. We keep moving, will be Datali. Okay, over to my distant readers, what do you people have to say about this? In that video, you find out that these people came out and they all spoke about how P2B, you know, all those things that he was being labeled, labeled mm, that he did this, he chased out the northerners, that he did not do any of that, how they were free, how they did their businesses free in an Anambra state, as it is supposed to be. I mean, it is not. this is not even supposed to be what you are supposed to be talking about. As you're a Nigerian, you can have the right to go to anywhere. So far, you're not going to go and do illegal business. You're not going there to do, to sell drugs. You're not going there to do, you're not a drug baron. You're not a uh -huh. Do you understand? You're not doing something illegal. You're supposed to be free. Go to that place. Invest in your country, now you day. You're supposed to know they scared of what will happen. And if you go there too, you try, you know, live according to the ethics of the people over there. You understand? Live at you know. That is why I keep, they bother me when I hear people, eh, these particular people, then they hear, then do this one, then do that one. Are we not Nigerians? Now, like I said, if you, if you, the, the video, you see, this is, they came out to testify that, look, oh, when Peter B was governor, he did a couple of things for them. He did, as in, the things where they accuse I'm saying to, you know, like people come out and say Peter B is a tribalist, you know, that he know, not only in people, now he know. And this is not what they said. Hmm? Okay, we need to be honest and change our country's bad situation. Vote be to be for president. The truth will set Nigeria free only without sentiment. P to B is a consensus candidate of Nigeria. And this is what we want. Somebody who will not look at us as he will not look at you as an Igbo person. He will not look at me as a South Southerner. He will not look at you as a Yoruba. He will not look at you as a Hausa Fulani. All he sees is a Nigerian. Not a kind of president we want. Somebody does something, he looks at you as a Nigerian. You understand? You are having crisis. He looks at you as a Nigerian and he, as the president of Nigeria, he knows that he, some, something is supposed to happen. He's supposed to do something about that situation. Now, so it's supposed to be. Do you people not understand? Now, so it's supposed to be. We're not supposed to be this one. We're not supposed to vote somebody who will come in and, oh, eh, the South Eastern has, nah, 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 then do this one. Or oh, no, we then do this one. No. Very much so, you still believe, or if you still believe in Obi as the North, and I'm asking you because they're telling us that Obi won't get vote, one vote from the North. Okay? Without fear or favor, Peter Obi and Dati Baba Ahmed are not to be compared with this old looters. Shitima, the founder of Boko Haram, God of the Innocent Children of Nigeria, arise and stand by Peter Obi and Dati Baba Ahmed for the betterment of Nigeria future generation. You will have to get your PVC. Anybody, see Nigerians, speak at Serena, this election, now what thing you want? What do you want as a citizen of this country? Who do you want as a citizen of Nigeria to take over the helm of affairs? Now, what do you want? Don't allow anybody to get into your brain that they have already done the election. Or they have already known who will come up because when I spoke to a few people, I'm telling you, and these few people I spoke to, nobody saying I don't feel recently. They have this opinion, eh, they have already done the election now. What they want to do is just to so they have done the election and they come out to waste money. Come on now, we're in the 21st century. Just as simple as NP matter, what the cabals may do come 25 February, P2B is the president of Nigeria. Get your PVC ready. Okay. Uh, wow, I love what I'm hearing. Keep sensitizing others. Okay. Only the truth can set Nigeria free, but those benefiting from the lies are the problem of Nigeria. Yes, yeah, that is why I keep saying collective, uh, what's the call? collective um, goal 
collective goal as Nigerians and not individual goal. Because if you look at individual goal, I tell you, for this this country, don't ever get day better. Go shape it. If you keep looking at it individually, this country can never ever get better. Hmm? If you keep looking at it individually, this country can never ever get better. I don't tell now. All right. Um. So, the thing is. Everybody should go into this election looking at each of the candidates as doctors with a country patient. If you are, if you have a sister that is ill or a friend that is ill and you rush them to the hospital, you know, should we, if Dr. Ron come, you know, we want to ask the doctor, say, what is your tribe? What child do you attend? Are you this one? Are you that one? They understand. Okay, let me just, this is just me now trying to, this is just me now trying to, you know, illustrate something. I actually watched a video clip of, you know, a man who, I think his wife was about to give birth. I don't know. Then the man refused a male doctor attending to his wife. Do you understand? The wife, they in pain. They need assistance. And he was like, no, if no female doctor, then you have to go to another hospital. And the wife was in pain. So Nigerians, if we cannot put ourselves in that kind of situation, where we say we know what in the good. We know say we get person, we go, we go free help us. Then we go come say because uh, the person now no come from our tribe. The person now no practice the same religion we are practice. For that reason, that person no qualify for that position. Make we look well. Make we look well. Make we not allow them say them say. Make we not allow tribe do this one. Tribe no do that one. Put us inside trouble. Where we will come outside from. Okay. I've told the people to make this country of mine, it depends on us. If we want this country to be saved, it depends on us. If we want this country to get worse, it depends on us. It depends on us and us alone to make Nigeria a better country. Now we the electorate, now we get to decide. Hmm? Now we go get to decide. Okay, um. Okay, they said. Very simple from Yerima. Third news, Obi has not done us that time to obtain ID cards before they can stay in Anambra. How can you prove this now? Now, then say, then say you here, or were you there when it happened? What proof can you actually give that, you know, he asked not us to obtain ID cards before staying there? What proof do you have to say? All right. Um... Like I said before, make we know do say we want benefit. Uh, what's it called? Individually, and then we, we are going to now lose it all. Hmm? Remember, we are going into the election with the mind of making sure that Nigerians get better. Nigeria as a country get better. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.